Hi, my name is Michael and this is my wife, Christina. And over the next few months, we are going to bring you different conversations to help spark intimacy and growth within your guys' marriages. And our first one, we're gonna talk about kind of how the last six months, eight months, nine months have been going with the pandemic. Yeah, if you're like us, most of you have been in close proximity to one another, more so than ever in your marriage. And uh, this can go one of two ways, right? You can uh, either be more comfortable with one another and have more conversations, or you can just kind of cohabitate with one another and just go through the motions and not be real close with your spouse. Yeah, and we have noticed that that can be really hard is that we've been in the same room, but actually not even talking with each other. We, we can be near each other and spending a lot of time, but we're actually not having growth conversations. We're not asking ourselves the deep questions. And part of that is stress, which is gonna be another topic that we're gonna come and hit on the head. But sometimes with that is we go and do our own separate things. And one of them that's been kind of our nemesis is zoning out. We get into our phones or we get into watching a lot of movies um, because we're just trying to fill space and time, but it's not actually ones where we actually get to know each other. We're not connecting. I don't know how many of you have actually went on a date, like actually went on a date, went out and, and asked each other some deep, hard questions. And part of also why we're not asking each other deep, hard questions is they can come into a fight. And when you're in close proximity with one another for so long, yeah, where do you go? How do you, how do you get some space to think and breathe when they're around you all of the time? And so our challenge is have connections ask some of those deep things don't be afraid of potential fights or disagreements because it's inevitable and i want to share with you um philippians 2 2 and it says complete my joy by being of the same mind having the same love being in full accord of one mind you can't do that you can't be of the same mind if you guys aren't talking if you're just spilling space where one of you is on one side of the couch and one of you is on the other side of the couch you're not connecting. You're not of one mind. You're not really deeply getting to know your spouse. And so that's our challenge for you this month is to make a way, find a way to really connect with one another. Yep, just encourage you to speak with one another, be open with one another, and take the time to be just genuine with one another during yeah. this time.